is the key. Faith is the key. It's the main ingredient in the cake. Huh? You know, if you try to make a cake and leave out one ingredient, it doesn't turn out right, does it? Well, if you try to get something from God without the main ingredient, you can't receive anything from the Lord. You've got to have faith in the Master in order to receive something from Him. And each and every one of us has a measure of faith. You can receive, let me tell you something. You can receive the same things that the people in the Bible days received. If you need healing for your body, you can receive healing yes. for your body. How many believe that you can receive healing for your body? Yes. Amen. Whatever you desire from the Lord, you can receive it. Because the Bible tells me that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That means that he has not changed. God is the same God. But why isn't it working for us? Because we're not working what God had told us to do. Well, huh? We want God to do something for us for nothing. Huh? Amen. Amen. We just want to sit back and cross our legs and say, Lord, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Huh? We just want to cross our feet and say, Lord, I'm waiting. And the Lord looking down at you and say, Well, where's your faith? Well. Huh? Where is your faith? See, God has got to have something to work with. If God looks down and don't see anything in you, then He can't give you anything. If you don't see any faith in you, He can't give you what you desire. The Bible says. In the book of St. Mark 11, 22-24, it says, Jesus said, now have faith in God. He said, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. That's it. Don't doubt in your heart. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have, he shall have, he shall have whatsoever he said. What things soever the Bible said, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them. You got you see, but sometimes when we pray for something, we don't believe it. Well, bless him, Lord. We're just asking. The Bible said that you ask amiss. If you ask amiss, you can't receive anything. But you got to ask in faith, nothing wavering, nothing doubting. You can't doubt God. If you want God to do something for you, then believe on Him. Let me tell you something. The same way that you came to Christ, you believed that He was going to save your soul, didn't you? If you believe that He would save your soul, then why can't you believe that He can do anything else for you? The same way that he saved your soul, he can heal your body. The woman with the issue of blood can attest to this fact. When she came to Jesus, she had gone to every doctor that she could, seeking for relief. And she could not find any relief from the doctor. She tried the doctor's medicine, but the medicine just wouldn't do her no good. And one day she heard that Jesus was passing by. Passing by. And she came and she looked and she saw Jesus with a crowd of people all around him. You see, this woman, she had heard something about Jesus. She had heard that he was the one that could open blinded eyes. She had heard that he was the one that could call the lame to walk. She had heard about Jesus and all of the miracles that he had done. And she said to herself, she thought in her mind that if I could just get to him, if I could just get to Jesus, I know that I shall be made whole. And this woman, this woman, regardless of the crowd that was around Jesus, many of us, if we had looked at the window and seen all of this crowd, we said, ain't no use. Right. We can't get to him anyway. Look at all of those people around him. We'll stay here and wait till tomorrow. But no, tomorrow is not promised. This woman said, I've got to get to Jesus now. Yeah. All right. Praise God. I've 
got to get to Jesus right now. And you see, when Jesus was just, when Jesus was out there walking around, she said, I got to get to him. I've got to make my way to the master. I've just got to get to Jesus. If I could just get to him and just reach out and touch the hem of his garment, I know that I shall be made whole. And this woman, she thought in her mind and she believed in her heart that she would be made whole and she just got to the master. So she pressed her way through that crowd. Can you imagine this woman who had been bleeding profusely for 12 long years and could not find a cure for her disease. But when she got, when she heard about Jesus, she said, if I just get to him, I can be made whole. And she pressed her way. She kept pressing her way. People was in the way, but she kept pressing her way. I believe that even she got down on her knees and tried to wiggle her way through the crowd. And as she kept wiggling her way through the crowd, she kept pressing her way. And she, and she happened to look up and she saw the hem of his garment. Mm -hmm. And when she looked up and saw the hem of his garment, she just reached out and just touched the hem of his garment. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that when she touched the hem of his garment, she felt virtue. Yes. She felt power flowing through her body. Yes. Huh? And where she had been bleeding, it stopped. And Jesus turned around and said, who touched me? Yeah. Who? Who touched me? And the woman came trembling and fell down at Jesus' feet. And Jesus said, woman, thy faith, thy faith have made thee whole. Your faith, faith is the key that unlocked the door to your reward. Whatever you want from the Lord, stand on it. Let me tell you something. Many of us lose our reward because we don't stand on it long enough. We pray and ask God for something and, 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 and as soon as it don't happen, as soon as we think it should happen, we get off of it. But you've got to, I believe the song says, standing on his promises. You've got to stand on his promise regardless of hell or high water. You've got to stand on it until what you have asked God for comes to pass. And it will come to pass. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Just stand on his word. Be unmovable. See, the devil will try to come and knock you off. Of the word. If he knock you off of it, get right back on it. Stand on it. So tell you a lie. Don't let him tell you that, hey, it's not going to happen. It haven't happened yet. How long you been standing on that word and ain't nothing happened yet? Tell him, hey, but my God is not a liar. Huh? If God promised you, then he's going to do it. Huh? He's going to do it. I don't know why it takes, might take God so long, but you see, we think it takes him long, but God knows when yes, to give us the desires of our hearts. You see, if God, if God jumped as soon as we said, Lord,